What's up, y'all? My name is Trey Hope, as always, and today I'm here with yet another Flutter package for your app called Shimmer. Now, what the Shimmer package allows you to do is it creates a shimmering effect on the widgets that you choose. You've probably seen it in other apps before, and this package makes it pretty simple to set up. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is head over to pub.dev to download the Shimmer package. It's on version 1.1.2. So we'll go ahead and copy that and bring that on over to our pubspec.yaml file. Paste it in right here. As you can see, I already have it. So I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to go through saving it and downloading and fetching it because I already have it. Um, so we'll come over to our demo page.dart. Um, we import it up here, as you can see. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead and jump into the code. So first thing that we need is we need a, a top level property called enabled. And this is going to specify whether the widget is actually shimmering or not. From there, um, we have a bunch of other widgets, scaffold, app bar, container, um, all that's kind of pointless. But uh, the main thing to focus on is this uh, shimmer dot from colors property uh, widget. I'm sorry. So what the shimmer dot from colors is going to do is it's going to take in a couple of properties uh, that's going to specify the color is it on or not the child and then some extra properties here that I'll explain in a minute So the first thing is the base color which is going to be the color of the widget when it's not shimmering So as you can see here it is colors gray 300 which is this color and then we have the highlight color Which is slightly lighter and that's going to represent uh, what it's going to look like when it's actually shimmering then we have our enabled uh, Property right here, which we're going to pass in and this is going to tell the widget um, if it's shimmering or not and then finally, we have the child property that lets the widget know, all right, which widget are we going to be shimmering on? Um, and then down here, we just have a button that says plan stop. And this is going to toggle the enabled property on and off. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like when we hit play. Hmm. Hold on, let me refresh this. Maybe it's some old data. Try it again. All right, there we go. So I hit play, as you can see now it's shimmering, all right? Now, let's stop this and let's talk about some other properties here. So there's a direction property that specifies which way the shimmer is going to take place. So um, by default, it's left to right, but uh, let's see what it looks like with BTT, which is bottom to top. So we'll save that, refresh the code, and then hit play. So now the shimmer is going from bottom to top, all right? stop that next property is the period property and this determines how long the shimmer is going to take place so by default i think it's maybe like one second but with uh, the duration a little bit slower we're going to see that the shimmer is going to be uh, a lot um, a lot slower so let's refresh that and go ahead and play all right so now you can see the shimmer is taking much longer than what it was originally and this isn't very appealing but <laughs> It's just cool to know that you can kind of toggle how long it's going to take. So we'll hit stop there. And then we're going to go to the loop property and the loop property specifies how many times it's going to shimmer. So let's go ahead and set it to five. So by default, it's going to continue forever. But if you put a limit on it, it'll only shiver, uh, shimmer those many times. So we'll get five right now. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. So those are all the properties on the shimmer widget, and this is essentially how you use it. Basically, this is pretty cool to use if you're having to load data, um, some asynchronous data, and you don't want it to just be a blank stale page, but instead you want it to actually um, show that something's loading. So Facebook uses this. I know Twitter uses it, um, and it's actually a good widget to use for your app. So just like that, we've added the shimmer package to our app, and now our widgets have a shimmering effect. If this was cool, you learned something today, please like, comment, or subscribe. I'll see you next time.